Sharon and happy one year anniversary to my channel right now. So if you guys are new to my channel, you guys probably don't know, but I am Erin and my channel you guys probably just clicked is Flavor Hair 22. I do a bunch of hairstyles, nail tutorial, haul videos, clothing, basically anything that I find interesting I'll do a video on. And today, since it's my one year anniversary, I made this channel on March 8th, 2013. And one year later, I have 750 subscribers. Pretty crazy. And yeah, so I thought I'd do something that was highly requested after my five quick easy hairstyles video for like ponytails. A lot of people were asking, because I play volleyball, they wanted to know what's in my volleyball bag. And there's a lot of videos like what's in my backpack and stuff. So today I thought I'd do a what's in my volleyball bag video. So let's get started. This is my volleyball bag. I have two bags, one for school and one for club. Basically the same thing. I just transfer things from this bag to my school one to this one when I practice because I have like 15 hours of volleyball a week. So yeah, anyways. And I'm just going to cover up my club because for like safety reasons and I just... I don't think it really matters what club I play for, so yeah. It is an Asus bag, so it says Asus at the top, and my number is right here, and I am number 12. And yeah, so basically I have this pin here, it says Princess, because a girl on my volleyball team, she was just like, hey, I found this pin, and I know you love pink, so here, and I was like, okay, I'll take it. So yeah. The first thing is on this side is a water bottle pouch. I normally have my water bottle in here. Since I practiced today, the water bottle is downstairs because my mom is filling it up and washing it and all that stuff. And on this side of my bag, there is a zipper and I just have my phone here. It's really great for tournaments because it's really handy as well as practice. I just put my phone in here and I zip it up and I know exactly where it is and I won't lose it in this huge bag. Now at the front, we have this big pouch. It's like fit for a ball, but I don't have that. There's a zipper here, you can put money in here, you can put cards, pens, pencils. I guess you could use this as a school bag if you really wanted to. But what I have in here is a little hand sanitizer. So this one is the Christmas cookies one and it smells so good. On Tuesdays, I have practices from 7 to 10 and then on Sundays, I have practices from 3 to 6.30 or so. So this is really good because I eat right after my Sunday practices, so I don't need to go find a bathroom and everything. So this is hand sanitizer. And I also have Tic Tacs because I actually don't know why there's a pack of Tic Tacs in here. And what else I have in here? I had, for Christmas, I had a volleyball get-together party or whatever. So... My friend got everyone these Marc Jacob nail polishes, and I guess I just never took it out of my bag. So, yeah. It's just super duper cute, and I should probably take that out of my volleyball bag, but whatever. It's there. So, that's what's in my front pouch. Normally, what happens is when I do go to practice, I'm already changed because... It's like after my school practices, I'm already in like clothes and stuff. There is a big pouch right here. Normally, I would have my spandex. This pair is from Blue Lemon, I'm pretty sure. I got this pair for my birthday from one of my best friends. If you guys are looking for a good pair of volleyball shorts, spandex, I definitely recommend Blue Lemon. They don't ride up, they stay, and it's amazing. And there's a little pocket here. I don't know what I would put in there, but there's a pocket if you really wanted a pocket. Next, what I have are just a pair of sweatpants because right now it is March and it is still cold. And I just think it's weird walking out of practice in just your shorts because, like, you're not in the gym anymore. So I just have a pair of pink sweatpants that I just throw in there because after practice it gets cold. Next, I have my shoes and these are my babies. Normally, I would wear my Uggs to practice and then I'd change there because my coach doesn't like us wearing our shoes outside, but like I totally understand. Normally, I have my pink Uggs in there and these are my babies, my volleyball shoes. These are Mitsuno. They are the Wade Lightning RX2 and they have gel support at the bottom and they're non-marking and they are just super pretty. These are honestly my life. I just love these shoes so much. So these are my volleyball shoes. Like you feel supported everywhere. You feel like a volleyball player. Basically what the only thing left in my bag are my knee pads, but I have like three pairs of knee pads. So my first pair that I have are the pair that I've been wearing ever since grade seven, grade six. So there are these pair, they're like the classic turtle shell knee pads. I don't wear these anymore. I only wear them to tournaments. They're more like regulation. You'll know what I mean when I show you my other knee pads, but 
I wear these ones to tournaments and I got these from like Walmart like five years ago so if you guys want a pair of these you guys can get these at Walmart this year I got these really amazing pair of Under Armour knee pads so they come in like a bag like this I just keep them in the bag I don't know why and they look like this how cool are these knee pads they are pink and they are like camo I got these really far away on a school trip and yes yeah, so these are reversible so you can reverse them like this and then you can have white knee pads but the only problem with these knee pads is I bought them I didn't look at the size I know dumb Aaron you should have looked at the sizes but I didn't look at the sizes they're really tiny as opposed to like these ones people will be like oh if you play rap you shouldn't be wearing your turtle knee pads well I'm like I wear whatever I want to wear. You can't tell me what to wear. So yeah, and these ones like the problem is they slide down. They're also really dirty. I'm sorry, but they like slide down. They don't really hold. And these ones cut off my circulation. So these are the other pair that I just bring just in case because sometimes my friends they forget their knee pads and I was like, oh here you can borrow this pair. And my last pair of knee pads are my favorite pair that I wear like 24/7, and they are Mitsuno. Boom. They are pink knee pads, they are from Mitsuno, and these are my life. These are the pair that I wear to all my practices, for school, and for rep as well. They are so protective. The exact same pair as the LR26, LR6, something like that, for the black pair. But they're new and they just released them this year, and they are really protective and stay on so well. So, like I was saying, I bring these knee pads to tournaments because it's more acceptable to wear this. Plus my jersey's like yellow and I'll look like a flamingo if I wear these pink knee pads to tournaments. So I wear this one to tournaments and then I wear these ones to practice. But honestly, I love them so much. They are like my favorite knee pads ever. They protect you so well. And yeah, so these are my Mitsuno knee pads and I love them. So that is everything in my volleyball bag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It is all I have in my volleyball bag. And this is my volleyball bag one more time. It's just like a basic black backpack. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please like it right over here and comment below what positions you guys play if you play volleyball because I am a setter, but before I became a setter, I played right side. And yeah, so comment below what position you guys play or which pair of knee pads were your favorite. So comment that below. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. Thank you so much. I have 750 subscribers. Like, crazy. And I've been on YouTube for only a year. And I know I've been slacking this year. I've only posted, like, 20 videos this year, which is pretty bad. I'm going to be uploading a lot more in the coming year. I promise you guys. I think I will make at least one video every two weeks, if not one every week, okay? I'm going to make that promise. That's going to be my YouTube New Year's resolution and yeah so I hope you guys enjoy this video if you do please give it a like right there if you guys have any suggestions or comments or anything you guys want to tell me I love talking to you guys on Twitter so you guys can tweet me at flair for hair 22 and I also got a new Instagram so you guys probably know my Instagram is Aaron 22 XOXO but I also got another Instagram and that is Clear for hair 22 vlogs so basically I haven't posted many yet but it's just basically a fun little Instagram I do like little covers on it which by the way I'm not a singer I just do it for fun so no hate please and I just do little vlogs and stuff so it's a really fun Instagram so if you want to do that you guys can follow flair for hair 22 vlogs and yeah that's about it I love you guys so so much 750 subscribers as well that is amazing so let's shoot for 1000 by the summer and yeah I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video bye over and then we're gonna put it under like this